So since 2016, the population of our city has gone up by more than a million. Uh, but homicides gone down. Uh, young people injured with a knife has gone down. Burglaries have gone down. Uh, gun crime has uh, gone down. We, we know that unfortunately, one of the key drivers for young people carrying the knife uh, and young people using a knife is it being a zombie knife, a combat style knife, a Rambo style knife. So we know these are drivers for young people committing acts of violence using a knife. What I'm saying to the government is uh, you should ban altogether machetes. There's no reason to have a machete. I've been on uh, police operations and we found hidden away these zombie knives and these huge uh, machetes. The government's current plans are to only ban uh, zombie knives if they're bigger than eight inches, if they are serrated, or they have more than one hole, or they have more than one spike. Well, that will encourage manufacturers to make knives that aren't caught by the ban. So what I'm saying to the government is, firstly, speed up this legislation and actually ban machetes and uh, uh, zombie knives. We've then got to make sure we educate young people so they understand the dangers of leaving home with a knife, so they're not then using alternative forms of offensive weapons other than a zombie knife or a machete.